Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And like I promised you guys yesterday, we have to talk about the XRP buyback today. There's a theory that places XRP at $35,000. I am not saying I believe that, I'm just saying there's a theory out there. And today, my question is as follows. Do you think that XRP could go to $35,000 per coin? Just put your comment down below because right now we're going to see what an ex Ripple employee thinks about this theory and thinks about all of this. So a new wave of discussion about government buyback of XRP tokens emerged a few days ago after Velo Capital's managing director, Jimmy Valley, spoke in an interview discussing what XRP might be worth now, if not for the SEC's prosecution. Again, I have discovered this many times before, or sorry guys, covered this many times before. I personally think XRP would be basically moving akin to Ethereum in the same sort of proportion. And obviously, since Ethereum did pretty well over the last bull run, XRP would have also seen some pretty crazy results over the last bull run, which now it didn't. However, and that's the most important part, my theories mostly have to do with just following the general flow of the market, which again would place XRP at maybe 10 or $12, but that would be the general flow of the market. Let's hear this out though. Let's, let's check this out. He once again suggested that the crypto XRP could be bought back if the regulator is defeated in court. Now, Valley has long promoted his buyback theory about XRP and has also speculated that the token will be worth $35,000 at some point. He believes that this will happen when all the banks switch to the new standard, the ISO 20022, and use XRP. Now, many in the XRP community are rather pessimistic about such assumptions. Again, guys, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Don't shoot the messenger, all right? Make sure you press that like button if you enjoy these videos. I'm just covering this. In no way, shape, or form am I saying it's possible or not possible. We're just covering here what the theory is and what an ex-Ripple employee thinks about it. Now, Ripple's former director of developer relations, Matt Hamilton, for example, considers Valley's claims to be complete fantasy, a scenario that is logically impossible. And so the discussion we're going to cover in just a second. He noted, however, that even if a buyback of XRP were to occur, its price could not be considered fair value because the second is formed solely by market laws, commenting on the possibility that the buyback would happen to make XRP the new government currency. Hamilton also questioned what prevents the government from simply buying the tokens from the market. As a general summary of Valley's words, Hamilton said he was suspicious of his and Valo Capital's activity, and that so far, he has been saying more clever words than doing anything. So this is a rather interesting discussion, as obviously both of these guys, well, I'd say they're pretty bullish on XRP. So it's interesting to see these diverging views, where Matt Hamilton has been a developer there, has been extremely loyal to Ripple and XRP. He is so completely on the opposite side to say, well, whatever you're stating, it doesn't make any sense. You yourself are doing a lot of talking without a lot of doing. Well, on the opposite side, we have the guys from Valley or Valil Capital, Mr. Jimmy Valley, whom again, I do not agree with very often, but it is quite logical to assume that he has a couple of different purposes. Again, these are my assumptions, but please bear with me. Again, guys, I'm going to request you all to press that like button as this might be a very much disliked video by many, but I think it's something I just have to do. I have to talk about this. Now, as to this $35,000 XRP price prediction, I see that he could have three main motives. Motive number one, he is trying to troll everybody. Just being a, just a troll. Number two, he is seriously expecting this to happen and is just extremely bullish on XRP. He's been around the world and knows that a lot could be playing in the background and that guys like Matt here might literally not know or might not be telling you because it might actually go above his head. He might think, oh, that's ridiculously stupid. But Jimmy from Valley might just, or Valil might just say, well, it goes over your head, buddy. You don't understand because, well, it's not being taught to you. You know, you don't have the insights that I do, which is possible. And then theory number three is he's delusional. It's possible, it's obviously possible. We should keep all the options open. Number four, 
is he is extremely, I guess this kind of coincides with number one, but he's basically trying to take XRP down from within the community by giving us all this hope and giving us all these high expectations based upon nothing but fantasy, which will ultimately only crush the community. Because I think if you're held together by these lies, by strings of lies, ultimately that's a bigger downfall rather than something to keep people excited. I don't think that's fair. So how likely are all these? Well, we don't really know. Again, the reason I'm saying we don't really know is because if you tell me, XRP is going to $30,000. I can only look you in the face and say, uh-huh, sure. Because to me, it doesn't in any way, shape or form seem logical. There's only one scenario in which I see this happening personally. And that is if the dollar just completely loses its value. If the dollar all of a sudden loses 99% of its purchasing power, or let's say 99.9% .9 of its purchasing power, then we're getting close. Or potentially if we're talking about the year 2050 where the entire world is just so completely different that we can't expect maybe even sooner than that maybe 2035 things change rapidly you know and if we're talking 12 years from now a lot could change but let's say between now and three years i personally don't see any main scenario as to which this could happen but we got to give him some credit he has an outlandish theory which most of us don't understand or don't connect with or don't feel but yeah maybe it's backed by something which indeed goes above our heads maybe he's got the insights and he's trying to tell us something which right now nobody can believe because it sounds idiotic but he was right again is he going to be right we'll have to see i don't agree with his opinions i don't think it's gonna happen but let's make it clear you never know i digress so crypto airy asked or honest question do xrp holders also share in the sick fees from what is being described as the biggest material merge and acquisition transaction in the history of the world per jimmy valley in the hummingbird video matt hamilton was uh, pretty quick to snap back and say well come on Ari, it's complete fantasy there's no scenario in which a buyback makes any logical sense a good response from dan was any logical sense that the government bought back gold where participation was mandatory with heavy fines and prison time for non-compliance? You're forgetting government can do anything, which is indeed <laughs> quite true. I should add here that indeed this could they is easily answered. The question of will they is more difficult. Regardless of sense or rights, confiscation without trial, uh, imminent domain, spying without warrant, etc. Now, I should also quickly come in and act, or sorry, I guess come in and say, the reason that a lot of us guys are so extremely bullish on this crypto stuff, at least I am, is because the government can never take it away from you. You have to understand that gold, they can literally force you to because, well, you have to store it physically, right? But come get my Bitcoin from me. Come try and get it. Yeah, it's going to be rather difficult, huh? But Matt said, sure. So if the government are going to do that, then why are you trusting that the government is going to pay you many, many multiples over the market price for XRP? That is like hoping a burglar does your washing up for you when he steals your TV. So now if, this is another person, random nerd saying, if XRP became an international reserve asset, why wouldn't it make sense? Private parties don't hold XDRs. And Matt Hamilton's comment back was, still doesn't answer why the US government would want to buy back XRP from holders at some stupidly high multiple of the market price. And again, if you look at these discussions, it's pretty interesting. But people are basically debunking Oh, sorry, I should say, trying to debunk a lot of Matt's jabs back. And I guess it does indeed paint a little bit of a picture of, well, what do you believe in? At the end of the day, there are many theories going around as to why it makes sense for XRP to be valued at some point at this high valuation because of some crazy, in my opinion, pretty unlikely, pretty wild, very outrageous, let me add, very outrageous, but to a certain degree, not impossible theories. And on the opposite side, there's very rational beings whom say it's not possible. And all I can say about it is it just depends on what you want to believe in. I mean, a lot of these scenarios look impossible at the start, but turn out to be pretty accurate later on. And in this case here, a lot of these guys have done their homework. And I have to add here, these guys have done their homework better than I have as to why it is or is not possible. And you know, my easy solution to all this, I just buy more. It is as simple as that. I just buy more XRP. Regardless of what happens, I don't really care. Right now, the price per XRP is about 33 cents. And honestly, guys, I personally believe if we get out of this Ripple lawsuit, 
the price can easily get above $12 as just a baseline. Hey, it's not 35,000, but it's good enough for me. And for that reason alone, I'm just buying like a freaking madman right now before the lawsuit is settled. And I honestly believe it's gonna be done within the next three months or so. So that's why I'm just really, really buying like crazy. If you guys were wondering, that is. Side note, guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below for a special Bybit celebration as basically they are celebrating their fourth anniversary. Again, this is the main cryptocurrency exchange that I personally use. And so I can also vouch for the fact that all well, the prices are pretty damn cool. But yeah, you can see they're giving away a BMW X5, 100 iPhone 14 Pros. I asked them, how can you give those away so quickly? They said, well, it takes some time to get all of them, but they're, they're giving them away. And a lot of times just $5 in BIT. It says right here, this is a guaranteed price. And I believe all you have to do is just make an account. I've said it before, they have crazy bonuses on there, which basically means by you making an account and depositing something, very often there's such a good bonus. Me just checking it quickly, I could find a $5,000 usdt bonus you have to deposit a hundred thousand bucks which might sound completely crazy to all y'all but to get five thousand dollars for that yeah in my opinion a lot of these rewards are pretty strange the fact they're profitable to some degree is, is really odd because it's that much money but it really works it's true that's why i always say check these exchanges out and always 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 check out these deposit bonuses and make the best use out of them because again in my opinion they're pretty awesome but yeah that was it for today's video video guys hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you press the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys again in another crypto video later today and again let me know down below if you believe that xrp could get to thirty-five thousand dollars per coin <laughs> yeah let me know down below